<laughs> Praise the Lord. Brother Hype Man here, a.k.a. Brother of the Jewish Roman known as the Wretched. Not there, my brother and sister. We turn our Bible to John chapter 6. We're looking at verses 14 and 15. And it reads, Then those men, when they had seen the miracle that Jesus did, said, This is of a truth, that prophet that should come into the world. When Jesus therefore perceived that they would come and take him by force to make him a king, he departed again into a mountain himself alone. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great word. Take it from the greatest book that man could ever possess. I remember this is God's word. We give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise. <laughs> In the precious name of his son, our Lord, say, praise the Lord, amen. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, we see in Matthew chapter 14, in Mark chapter 6, in Luke chapter 9, and in John chapter 6, it's recorded where our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you know, he's there's a multitude of people following him, and he's preaching the gospel of grace, preaching the kingdom of God, preaching the good things of Abba Father. And, 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 and he was preaching for a while. And when it was done, you know, some of the disciples said, oh, okay, let, let, let's let the, the, you know, the people go. And while we go and do our business, this is what the disciples said to our Lord and said to Jesus. He said, no, no, because he loved them. And he, he, he said, but, but we, you know, but, you know let, let, let's feed them. And he said, but then the disciples said, well, I we don't have nothing. The only thing that they have is that this little boy, he, he, he brought, um, you know, five loaves, five being the number of grace, and then two fishes, so a total of seven, and that's God's divine number. All we have is just this amongst all this multitude. It ain't, it ain't gonna do nothing for them. And then our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ instructed his disciples, oh, have them all sit down and, you, you, and just let them sit down and we'll, we'll take care of this. And so um, then our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ asked for those five loaves, five being number of grace, two fishes, total of seven, which is the God's divine number. He, he, he took that and, and of those five loaves and two fishes, he divided it and it was added. He subtracted and it was multiplied amongst that whole multitude. Such that 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 they all ate and, and, and were filled. And and in John's account of this in John chapter six, John kind of overhears a, a conversation amongst the people. And, 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 and he records it this way in John chapter six, verse 14. Then those men, when they had seen the miracle, a eyewitness of this miracle. Five loaves, two fishes, and it's distributed amongst all that multitude, and, and they ate till they were filled. Seen that miracle that Jesus did, and they said while they were eating, Hey, this is of a truth that prophet that should come into the world. And, and, and they got excited. And so while they were eating and, and getting filled, they th that th that group got up and verse 15. And when Jesus therefore perceived that they would come and take him by force, they they were excited. They were running and they wanted to make Jesus king. But we know in Revelation chapter 19, verse 16, Jesus is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. You, you don't make Jesus king. He is king. But they, they wanted to make him king over their, 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 their present circumstances. They didn't have nothing to eat, and Jesus, you know, provided them something to eat. And so they, they wanted Jesus to be king of their present circumstance. But... Jesus didn't come to be king in that sense. In Matthew chapter 20, verse 28, and in Mark chapter 10, verse 45, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ said this to his disciples. The Son of Man did not come to be served, to be a king of your 
present circumstances. No. The Son of Man came to serve. To serve for an existing challenge. And in Luke chapter 19 verse 10, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ put it this way. The Son of Man came to seek and save them that was lost. To seek and save them that were lost. In this existing challenge. And what's this existing challenge? Mankind's sin. You see, Jesus didn't come just to, you know, fix broken marriages. No, Jesus came to save the world from their sins. Jesus didn't come to give you the best job that you could ever have. No, Jesus came to save mankind from their sins. Jesus didn't come to, 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 to. To, to heal you of your sickness. No. Jesus came. To, to. To to save you. To save the world. From their sins. And so. If, if, if Jesus takes care of. The, the, the present circumstances. And doesn't take care of the existing challenge. It don't matter. You know. Of that present circumstances. That's being taken care of because you got to, the, the world has an existing challenge and that's sin. And once you take care of that existing challenge sin, then the present circumstances uh, will, 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 have, will, will have a way to work out. We see in, in, in Psalm chapter 103 with David, uh, a gospel of grace believer, a gospel of grace songwriter, gospel of grace uh, king uh, 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 of the Old Testament where he, he wrote in Psalms chapter 103 he says starts out blessed bless the Lord O my soul and the soul is your mind your will and your emotion bless the Lord O my, my my mind my will and my emotion and bless his holy name and bless all that is within me Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, my, my mind, my will, my emotion, and, 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 and forget not his benefits. And, and, and the benefits that David was speaking about was a fivefold benefit, and five is the number of grace. And watch this. Forget not his benefits. What's number one? Benefits. He forgives you of all your sins, past, present, and future. And so when, 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 when Jesus comes and to serve mankind by forgiving uh, 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 mankind of all their sins, past, present, and future, and he's going to do that at the cross, when, you, when, when that's taken care of, watch this. Then the others will fall into place. And, and, and what's the, the, the second fivefold blessing that uh, uh, benefits that David was singing about? He said, to, to heal you of all your diseases. The third is to redeem your life from destruction. The, 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 the fourth is to, to crown you with loving kindness and tender mercy. And loving kindness is grace. And grace, loving kindness, is, is, is the good that you don't deserve. And tender mercy, tender mercy is withholding the bad you do deserve. And the, and, and the fifth uh, uh, of the of the benefits, the fifth of the blessing that D David was singing about was and, and satisfy your mouth with good things that your youth is renewed like an eagle. And, and so we, we see there's going to be a, a, a physical manifestation from, from that from when you remember the fivefold blessings that when you remember that 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 Jesus has come to to serve. And mankind, and not to be a king just for your present circumstances, but to serve you to 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 eliminate that existing challenge of sin. And so when he does that, he could he'll forgive you of all your sins. He'll heal you of of, 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 of sickness. He'll uh, uh, he'll, he'll, he'll redeem your life from, from destruction. He'll crown you with grace and mercy and he will satisfy your mouth with good things and that your youth is renewed like an eagle. And how does Jesus Christ satisfy your mouth with good things? He does it this way. Praise the Lord! <laughs> 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 May the Lord bless
bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord may shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his cross. You may the Lord give you. And I commend you both with God and the word of his grace. With his name will build you up with inheritance. To those who sanctify in the precious name of his son, our Lord, say Jesus Christ. And unto him that is able to keep you from and present you faultless in the presence of his glory. Both God, majesty, dominion, power, both now and forevermore. Praise the Lord. God bless. God bless.